On Oahu's eastern, windward side, Kailua is an upmarket destination with dramatic natural scenery and beaches of astonishing beauty. One of these, Lanikai Beach, has all the hallmarks of a tropical paradise, down to the glistening turquoise waters and powdery white sands. Kailua is separated from Honolulu to the east by the sheer rim of an ancient caldera, climbing 500 meters above the landscape. Today we share the top 10 best things to do in Kailua so you can plan a trip and experience all the exciting attractions and activities this beautiful city has to offer. Starting with number 10, Lanikai Beach. Picture the perfect Hawaiian beach and it would surely come close to this sweep of soft white sand lapped by gently aquamarine waters. Lanikai Beach is often named among the very best in Hawaii. And it's easy to understand why when you glimpse the glimmering waters, the lush vegetation behind and the arresting vistas out to the Makulua Islands. As we'll see later, you can embark on a kayak trip from the beach to reach the northernmost of these two islets punctuating the horizon to the east. Lanikai Beach is public, but not part of a state or municipal park. Buffering the shoreline is a high-end residential neighborhood, and you'll get to the beach via alleyways from the parking areas. At number 9 is the Kailua Beach Park. At the south end of Kailua Bay, this beach park is a few steps from Lanikai Beach, but comes with all the facilities you would expect from a public beach. Kailua Beach Park is second to Lanikai Beach on this list but would give any beach in the world a run for its money. You'll encounter silky white sands and lagoon-like waters, traced by a green barrier of tall ironwood trees and coconut palms. As with most of the beaches on the Oahu's windward coast, the ocean breezes are very consistent, attracting windsurfers and kitesurfers. At number 8, Kalama Beach Park. A short walk around the bay from Kailua Beach Park is another enticing stretch of white sandy beach, a little less frequented than its neighbor to the southeast. In fact, one of the things that will strike you about Kalama Beach Park is how quiet it is, with only upscale residences hiding behind a wall of palms, koas and beach cabbage, and bathers dispersed around the shore. There's a brisk wind most days, and you're sure to see plenty of kite surfers and windsurfers in the bay. Looking out at the ocean you can see the Oliapa Crater to the northeast and the twin Makulua Islands to the southeast. At number 7, Honoluhia Botanical Garden. This branch of Honolulu Botanical Gardens is a little more than 10 minutes out of Kailua and was laid out in the early 1980s by the United States Army Corps of Engineers for flood protection. All the more beautiful in the shadow of the Kolo Range, Honoluhia Botanical Garden is a rainforest garden planted with species from tropical regions around the world, among them Sub-Saharan Africa, Malaysia, India and Sri Lanka, Polynesia, Melanesia, the Philippines and Hawaii. These are grouped geographically and create spellbinding vistas against the soaring poly cliffs behind. Also, take time to peruse the visitor center and the art galleries next to it. At number 6 in our list, Makulua Islands. If you catch a calm day you could look into taking a kayak or paddleboard trip to this pair of basalt islets less than a mile off Lanikai Beach. There's a lineup of local companies, like Kailua Beach Adventures, we go! Island Canoe and Two Good Kayaks, ready to give you a guided trip. Formed around 3 million years ago, Mokum Nui, to the north, and Mokuiki, are both seabird sanctuaries, but only the former can be accessed by the public. Once you get there you can unwind on the pristine sandy beach on the west side, gaze back at the Kolo Range, jump from the cliffs or snorkel around the lava and coral formations among the sea turtles and crabs. At number 5, Olomana Three Peaks Trail. Rising 500 meters over the coastline, this chain of three jagged peaks is an integral part of the landscape on the windward side of Oahu. Bola Mana is a remnant of the Kola Caldera, the western section of which dominates the horizon towards Honolulu, see Nuanapali below. 
One look at Olamana and you'll know that this is a hike not to be taken lightly, requiring a lot of scrambling and a stomach for heights. Ropes are provided to help you tackle the steeper ascents, but you'll still need to pick your way up a few walls unaided. At number 4, Nuanapali. In a matter of minutes from Kailua, you can drive the Pali Highway up to this jaw-dropping lookout high on the cliffs of the Kolo Range. From Nuana Pali, at an elevation of 365 meters, you'll get a panoramic view of the windward side of Oahu, encompassing Kailua, the ocean, big swathes of greenery, and the Olomana Peaks. The wind-up here is formidable, so strong in fact that on most days it will support your weight. This location also has a violent past. As in 1795, the founder of the Kingdom of Hawaii, Kamehameha Ice Troops forced Oahu's men off these cliffs to their deaths in his campaign to conquer and unite the islands. At number 3 in our list, Bellows Field Beach Park. On Kailua's southeast side, at Waimanalo, sits the Bellows Airfield Station, a military reservation that served as a key airfield during World War II. The last runways were closed in the 1950s, and the station is now used for training and recreation. The park is open to the public on weekends and warrants the short trip from Kailua if you'd like to relax on a long, wide and soft sandy beach with lowish waves. There is a shallow sandbar here for body surfing and bodyboarding breaks, and partly because of the prevailing trade winds there's a curious array of wildlife. At number 2, Manawili Falls. Wedged between the Pali Cliffs and Mount Olamana, this family-friendly, out-and-back trail in the Manawili Valley will take you to a gorgeous waterfall hiding in the jungle. The trailhead is easy to find, in a residential area next to the Royal Hawaiian Golf Club. From there you'll have a 2.8-mile hike, scrambling over rocks and tree roots, with ferns at waist height and occasional vistas of windward Oahu's dramatic terrain. The falls are just below a scenic plateau, where the river plunges into a paradisiacal swimming hole, and where you can leap into the water from the rocks if you're feeling brave. Check out the number one places in our list, Lani Kai Pillbox Hike. Starting just behind Lanikai Beach you can embark on a short but very scenic hike along the Kaiwa Ridge, tracing the coastline for 1.8 miles. You'll need about 2 hours for the round trip, and although the trail is short, there's a stiff initial climb to get up on the ridge. On the way you'll come across two historic pillboxes installed during World War II. The second of these is usually the point where walkers turn back. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Kailua. Is there something we missed let us know in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.